So I just got back from Pilates. I stopped at Target, pick up a couple of things. It's like some random stuff I need around the house, like garbage bags and um, some mustard <laughs> for what I'm having for lunch today. I'm just putting on some Laneige, the lip mask on my face, and I put a little bit of my CeraVe retinol. Set up my phone so I can record for TikTok too. And I'm gonna do my daytime like skincare, um, get ready ish because I'm not putting on any makeup but I am going to do my brows um so I've already washed my face and I toned my face and I put a little bit of CeraVe retinol on this up at Target it's the elf holy hydration eye cream I felt like I needed an eye cream for the daytime we're going to be trying this out and see if I like it oh this is really nice it's just will it actually hydrate is the questions a little bit above my brow because I have like a dry patch there okay so now that I have that on and with my merit great skin this is my daily serum just add some hydration back into my face I do like two to three pumps just kind of depending on what my skin needs and I'm gonna put I put on three today be sure to take it off my neck and just adding that hydration back into my skin before i put on my moisturizer i'm gonna go ahead and with my hero mighty patch i have a couple blemishes that i need to put a patch on sorry my nose is like super stuffy Jeez, i feel like sometimes when i have on all of my products they don't really stick to my face so i just put the treatment stuff on and then i put my moisturizer on last invisible ones so they kind of blend into your face better so like you, you can see it but you can't the other day my grandma told me that it looked like I had ringworm <laughs> when I had that on so I'm like uh, okay let me stick to the invisible ones okay now I'm gonna go ahead in with my Ole Henderson um, sheer transformation moisturizer I'm gonna put that all over I usually just hold down the pimple sticker and then just aggressively rub around it. So my skin feels very, very moisturized, but we are not done yet. I have literally one step left and it is sunscreen. Even though I do not plan on leaving the house, I sit right in front of a window when I work and I'm right in front of a window now. And I did put on retinol. So, we need to have that sunscreen on. Again, make sure you take it on your neck. And that is it. Only thing else that I'm going to do is do my brows just because they've been looking a little unruly. Um, I might do my brows, I mean just put some wax in them. I'm gonna go ahead in with the e.l.f. brow lift and we're just gonna put some of that on my brows and I just I rub it through my brows so that actually coats the hair and then I'm just gonna brush everything into place I feel like just having my brows done even when I have nothing else on, like my skincare, my brows, I just feel like I have my life together. Literally it. So I'm gonna get dressed and make my bed and that is it. That is my daily morning skin routine. So make sure you guys come back so you can see day two of the skin cycle routine tonight. Hi guys, so it's been a hot minute since I picked up the camera. But right now I'm working on um, emailing some brands. So I'm trying to like tap into like UGC creation um, just as a way to kind of supplement some extra income. Sorry, you guys were a little dusty. <laughs> to, supplement, to add a little bit extra income, but also just to kind of like build my portfolio and hopefully this will help boost my following. Um, so I just went ahead, I'm going to show you guys, I made a little, 
Um, I made a little portfolio. I just used Canva and I included like some of my favorite contents that I've made over the years, some stills and everything. And I'm just in the process of sending this out to different companies. On a couple like email templates on TikTok and I've just kind of put them together. I've also found some email address from TikTok. I also demail d demailed. <laughs> I also DM'd a few um I have this huge zit on my face that just will not go away. Um I also DM'd a couple of brands on Instagram. I did get a reply back from one brand. And they asked me to email over my portfolio. So I went ahead and I did that. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, I'm hoping that I will. My plan is I would love to get at least two UGC um, bookings for this month. And it's the 23rd, so I don't have long. So I'm spending the day sending out a bunch of emails hoping that I will get at least two by the end of the month. Um, I also just, I was, I got an email. I'm also part of the Boohoo, um, ambassador program. So each month I get to order like some stuff and make content with it. And they sent me an email. They sent me an email, um, about the March content. But when I, I signed up at the beginning of March and they already sent me like what I was supposed to do. So I did that. But I just got another email like, don't forget to do your March content. But my March, what they send me is completely different than what I did. So I need to email them and figure out which one I'm supposed to do. Because if they want me to do what they just sent me, I did not order the right stuff for that. Um, what I did was more like affordable stuff. This collection, they want to do more like bright colors and transitioning into spring. And everything that I bought before it was black for the budget I was trying to fit into the budget that they were looking for so I need to email them that so yeah that's just what I'm doing today I took the day off um I was not feeling well but I'm gonna go ahead and finish working on these emails and I will check in with you guys later <laughs> saw I just made that fire salad I don't know I just woke up today and I just had like a craving for a kale sweet potato salad so I looked on TikTok a bunch of people were like making their own sauce and I really didn't want to do that because I I know I don't have half of the stuff to do and I wasn't trying to buy the other half so um I was like I'm not I don't want to make my own dressing so I just kind of like look through a bunch of videos everyone was making their dressing but I just kind of like picked out the the taste that I was going for and that I ran to the store. I already had the kale, the sweet potatoes. Um, only thing I really needed was olive oil and dressing and some shrimp. I didn't have any shrimp and I knew I wanted to add shrimp to the salad. Every other salad that I saw like this used chickpeas. Um, I've never actually had chickpeas. I've had chickpea pasta and I'm not a huge fan of chickpea pasta. So I'm, I'm a little nervous about trying chickpea, but I wanted to make the salad. So I did shrimp instead. Um, 
in the video that I saw on TikTok, the girl made like a honey mustard dressing. So when I was at the store, I was looking for like a dressing that was honey mustard based. And I found this one. Um, it was between this one and a Caesar from the same brand. It's called Brianna's. Um, there's a Caesar salad dressing that they have. And I was thinking about getting that one. But then I saw this and it has um, honey mustard and it has canola oil. Honey mustard, Dijon mustard, white wine vinegar, um, crushed capers, concentrated grapefruit, no, concentrated grape juice, garlic puree, salt spices mix, and it's gluten free, no HCS, no HFCS, no MSG, and it's vegetarian. So they say it's really good for a marinade, but I use it. So it's the champagne style vinaigrette dressing, and I'm telling you, the salad is so. This salad is so good. Um, I made sure I massaged the kale with some olive oil beforehand. And then I just loaded up the salad. So it has sweet potatoes, tomatoes, um, bell pepper, roasted broccoli. The roasted broccoli is like the perfect touch to the salad. Oh my God. Um, and then the shrimp. And it's so good. I made a big old bowl. A big old bowl and I'm just sitting here watching YouTube videos but I just wanted to tell you guys what I made and tell you how good it is and you should definitely definitely try it um there is a video on my TikTok it's actually gonna be on my TikTok and um on my Instagram page and it's also gonna be on the Prosper pages which is like my wellness page so follow me on all of those but if you don't want to follow me on all of those at least pick one um there's the wellness page my personal page and then um my tiktok but i'll tell you guys a little bit more about the wellness page later but i'm gonna go ahead finish my salad i've been obsessing over this freaking water it's like all i drink now so i'm gonna drink uh, eat my salad finish this water and watch youtube and i'll check in with you guys later